If you think they don't write songs like they used to, if you hanker after groups like the Beatles, Kiss, ABBA and the Supremes, you can put on your dancing shoes. Retro's back with a vengeance. Every weekend you'll find hundreds, yes hundreds, of tribute bands playing in pubs and clubs across the country. They're the ones who look like, sound like your old favourites, singing all those golden oldies you grew up with. For the fans, it's a chance to relive their misspent youth. For the performers, it's a chance to put on the sequins, high heels and makeup and behave outrageously. And that's just the men. They're the feel-good band. Playing the music we can't get enough of. Stop in the name of the they are the great pretenders. The tribute bands that take us back to our misspent youth. In a lot of ways, you kind of feel like a bit of a phony because we're not really ever but they just love it they just you know you think wow you live in the whole sort of thing of being the pretend rock star and you go wow, I don't really deserve all this but no. I'm going to take it anyway it's all about fantasy living out the dream not just for these wannabe rock gods but for the fans as well They're going along with a ride. We're not really KISS. They know we're not really KISS. They come along and play the game with us. This is KISS Destroyer. Australia's own version of the outrageous, makeup-loving American rock band KISS. You focus in, what is KISS? Kisses, the pyro bombs going off, it's the smoking guitars, the fire breathing, the blood spitting, it's all these crazy things, the outrageous amount of guitars and, mm. you know, the different costumes. And if you've got it wrong, they'll kill you for it. Now they'll be sitting there Stephen, Chris, Andrew and Denny have been Kistroyer for the past <laughs> eight years. This is an extended family. Kistroyer is like the four of us, we're like a, a family. It's all about just There's having no big fun. philosophy no, going on here. This is... Uh, this is songs about chicks and rock and roll and <laughs> chicks and touring and chicks and, and <laughs> chicks. And that's yeah, Kiss, yeah. you know. Wild man Paul Stanley is actually mild mannered Chris, spa repairman. Andrew, who plays Ace Freely, owns a flower yeah, shop. Absolutely. Now make sure you get a cup of water into there each day. Yep. And his brother Stephen, who plays drummer Peter Chris, runs right. a club. So we we'll just go through the. Danny is tongue waving Gene Simmons by night. This is your stock standard business card holder. Stationary uh, salesman oh, by day. Okay. Have a good day. Well, thanks, Danny. No worries. Uh, I have to ask. You know what I'm going to ask you. Show us your tongue. Yeah. Any money? Give us the tongue. <laughs> Did you have to have that extended? No, no, that's that's why I got into the band. They're like, that was you the sort of look like Gene. He had a cow's tongue, so I'm not Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, they've gone, you got a long tongue. Do you reckon you could play an instrument? Yeah. Can Maybe, you play? no. Can you sing? <laughs> no. Can you stick your tongue out? Right, you're in. And if you got a better price than what we can get it for, you got it legally. <laughs> You'd think it would be a tough ask having to spend your working life being someone else. There you go. Thank you, sir. Not for the guys from Kistroya. Always a bride, my never a bride. <laughs> Once the makeup comes on, the whole personality changes. You get into that, that kiss mode. That real arrogant kiss exactly. mode. Exactly. <laughs> you hit the stage and you attack it like. Uh, yeah. It's hard not to feel that you're larger than life when you're wearing seven inch platform heels. <laughs> she keeps snow. She keeps snow. She keeps no secrets from you. On any given Friday or Saturday night in pubs and clubs around the country, you'll find them. This in the morning, wearing a shadow. There's Doc Neeson from The Angels, in real life, warehouse manager BJ Vernal, who, with a quick wardrobe change, becomes 
Bon Scott from ACDC. There's Elton John and Billy Joel. Yes. Australian Pink Floyd show. Even Diana Ross and the Supremes are back in business. What seems to be really refreshing about it is that in this era of everything becoming obsolete so quickly, you know, cars, phones, televisions, mm. that this music has stood the test of time. <laughs> Nathy, Deb and Lisa are regular suburban mums who love nothing more than spending time with their children. But when the sun goes down... You're all looking incredibly glamorous. I just Thank love you. it. I know. We love our job. <laughs> we do. We do. We love it. Mummies by day and fabulous by night. <laughs> These super mums become the super supremes. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. You have to check motherhood at the door and whatever yeah, else is going right. on in your in your day-to-day -day existence because despite what happens a cliche but the show must go on and, and you do become the character because you put on the frock and you put yeah. on the wig once and the wig's on that's it that's it <laughs> and, and you do leave all the other stuff behind and mm. you just go out there and do it it's great. so you're really just three little girls dressing up oh yes, yes. yes. <laughs> my mama says you can hurry love no you just have to wait four and a half years ago these friends formed the group as a corporate act now they're in hot demand around the country. It's the music Diana Ross and the Supremes belted out in the 60s that still has the fans jumping. When we're up there performing, you've got 21-year-olds dancing with 60-year-olds, yeah. and they're all embracing yeah. good music. And the Supremes is just such a perfect, well, there's three of us, so <laughs> it made sense. Yeah, yeah, there is no Diana Ross here, is there? Oh, no, well, I'm, I'm, Diana. I'm Diana. They're as close as we'll ever get to the originals. But for a tenth of the cost of the real deal, you can have a hard day's night out with the Beatniks. After 30 years and several lineup changes, Australia's longest running tribute band is still pulling crowds. So, what are they coming to see, do you reckon? What are they wanting? Recreate it. They want to, the people who never saw the Beatles want to feel like they've seen the Beatles. People who grew up with them want to relive their youth. It's they just, I mean, they were just such an amazing band. John, David, Denny, and Paul weren't even born when the Beatles were playing. Some of them weren't even born when the Beatniks first started. The very first music I ever remember was my parents playing me Octopus's Garden in the car. So it's, it's this kind of childhood thing for me anyway, even though I was born after they broke up. Is that the same for you? Yeah, I grew up, you know, pretending to be a Beatle. I was a big Beatle fan and it's the reason I'm in it. Yeah. Other people grow up, but gosh darn it, we're staying. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to do the Beatles, you've got to master more than the music. We try and do the accents the best we can, but there's a funny thing, there's a real difference between each member's accent. Like, George is very much like, it's also like that, he's very much like this. Whereas Paul, you know, it's like, we could do another song, she loves you. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and John's, you know, uh, we didn't say we're better than Jesus Christ or bad, you know, and, um, and Ringo was just, that was the first time I smoked marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> other lives, how far are you removed from the Beatles? Extremely. I live in a two-bedroom apartment. <laughs>
<laughs> and I'm sober most mornings. <laughs> I think you have to be fairly faithful to the music and the songs. Because in the end, fans want the, the essence of the original. They want it to sound like the original and they want it to look like the original. They're the basic two musts for a tribute act. And band manager John Tyrrell should know. 20 years ago, this ABBA fan created Beyond Again. Now the most successful tribute act of all time. Money, money, money. Must be funny. It's now a multi-million dollar brand that's been franchised around the world with five different lineups performing at any one time. We've done over 5,000 shows in 70 countries. I'd suggest we're the only band that could play like the main stage at a rock festival like Glastonbury or Reading and also play to a bunch of kindergarten kids. Yeah, your jumpsuit is looking awfully tight. It doesn't hurt that these guys don't take themselves too seriously, off stage or on. Well, it's all right. You know, I have to confess that I must blow dry the hair on my back yeah. as well. Thanks. It's true. And even the original we ABBA doesn't seem to mind the so gentle ribbing. Have well. they seen it? Has ABBA seen your show? Yeah. yeah. And? Seal of approval, which is amazing. And, and it happened early on, I believe, in, in, in Sweden with, with Benny and more recently with uh, Agneta. Went to a show and just loved it. They're happy with the accents? Oh, the yeah. accents. What accents? <laughs> well, they're just silly voices. Yeah. We just hope for the best. Whatever comes out, comes yeah, mine out. Yeah, sort of shifts between sort of Swedish and Mexican, with a little bit of Greek thrown in occasionally. You can dance, you can and the shows are just getting bigger and bigger. And it's like, wow, they just keep coming. And they're younger and there's, there's sort of, you know, five, six, seven-year-olds and they're up there and they know all the words. You go, this is it's going to certainly outlive us. How long can this last? As long as I can fit into the jumpsuit, I guess. I guess <laughs> it's when, all about you. <laughs> no, just when I start falling out. Oh, I say thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. So what is it? The music? Nostalgia. A trip down memory lane. So Whatever it is, we all seem to be hooked. How much longer can you do this? As long as those bookings yes. come in, yes. as long as those bookings come in. That's right. <laughs> Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. <laughs> Very good. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thank you for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes, which are on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.